Saint Heart. I'm here at the Grove for the premiere for me, and I'm standing next to the director and the writer. What is your name? Ludmila Dyer. Amazing, and you look fantastic. Thank you. So Absolutely. This you. blue is royal. You're standing out. You're the woman of the hour. Thank you. So tell us about your movie. Well, me, it's a movie about my journey, uh, my self discovered journey when I was struggling with mental health. So I share a little bit of my story in the film, but actually the film is about all of us. So whoever is watching gonna feel very touched, you know. Nice, and so what inspired you to write this and when did you write this? I wrote it um, in 2021 okay. when I was uh, struggling with panic and I also had a, a chronic disease. Um, it was like everything at the same time then made me look for help finally because I was like always working and you know very like trying to put things under that rug and not really pay attention you know but then life stopped me and then I realized it could be a good opportunity for me to revisit my life in every way possible so I started a self-discovery journey um, very deep to kind of access all the things that were pretty much causing all this physical pain, you know, what was causing all that. And I realized um, it's, it's a journey that it's a little painful to start, but once you start, it's, it's beautiful because everything gets lighter after that. And you start feeling, you start getting better, yeah. and, and then it, it's, it's almost like you, you have like a better, a clear sense of life after you you learn about yourself and then learn and during this process I realized I was so fortunate and privileged to have access to not just therapists and professionals but also books and information and tools that made my my healing process quite quick and then I felt very grateful I was like you know what there's a lot of people that don't have access to this so I think I should make something to for these people to watch to see and that was the idea for the documentary because maybe my story could be a little of a some kind of hope or help for people they're also struggling you know yes. wow that's amazing and you're doing amazing things changing the world as one at a time day by day um what is some advice for someone that's struggling with mental illness well one thing i learned um it's that a lot of the the information and a lot of the help that we need it's actually inside of us and there's always a, a light of the tunnel as hard as it looks as impossible as it feels sometimes because sometimes it's so difficult um, but there is always light in the end of the tunnel and the light it's inside of us That's it's beautiful. our own light That's you know beautiful. thank you yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it. Congratulations. And where can the audience find you? Oh, find me. Well, you can find me on social media. Um, it's uh, Lou Dyer 13 on Instagram okay. or my production company, loopyproductions.com. And then I'll just keep everyone updated of like when it's coming to streaming and it will be on streaming soon Wonderful. and more news about the film. That's yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for changing the world in your own way. Oh. Just baby steps. <laughs> exactly, yes. but you're you're helping the world. That's thank all that you. matters. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you. I can't wait to see it. This is Saint Heart with Teleray TV. Eu tinha o mesmo pesadelo quando criança. Vinha uma onda gigante e levava tudo ao meu redor. Aos 36 anos eu fui diagnosticada com uma doença crônica. Parece que alguma coisa tinha que acontecer para me despertar. As pessoas que eu conheci ao longo desse meu caminho de cura foram os meus grandes mestres. O ser humano é um grande desconhecido dele próprio. E a gente vai se moldando aquilo que as pessoas esperam ou desejam da gente. Quando eu comecei a minha terapia, eu me deparei com emoções, dores que eu nem sabia que existiam. Seja qual for o sofrimento que eu carrego, 
ele não é em vão. Nosso organismo, ele tem uma sabedoria, uma inteligência. Todo mundo fica entrincheirado, tentando evitar a dor. Não, aceita, aprende e transforma. Quando você começa a, a, a mergulhar para dentro disso, não acaba. E quando você faz isso, você entra num outro estado de paz. E aí você vai se dar conta que você não está sozinho. Eu fui obrigada a olhar a vida de um outro ângulo. E por mais consciente que eu parecesse ser, eu precisava olhar para dentro.